Here we're going to connect your AWS EC2 instance to GitHub so that you can clone the class repo to your EC2 instance. So first I'm going to uh, access EC2 and doing this just to get the, the IP address of my running uh, class instance. So I, this is the class instance right here. I've selected it and I'm just going to grab this public IP address over here. And next I'm going to come to my shell and I'm going to SSH into that running instance using the IP address that I just got. So I'm connected to my EC2 instance. Uh, I can tell because of the prompt right here. It says Ubuntu at and then this IP address. Uh, just an aside, just remember that this IP address is the private IP address. Uh, not the public IP address that we just used. Um, so just, you know, the main point here is that if you, that you can tell that you're on your instance because the prompt will look like this. It will probably be different if you are working locally. So just, um, just to clarify assumptions here, the assumption is that you have a GitHub account already. I'm not going to go through setting that up. So this is just to clear up something that might be a bit confusing. We're going to be configuring an SSH key for GitHub, but we're actually configuring a connection from your AWS EC2 instance to GitHub. So you've already connected from your local machine to Amazon. We just did that when we used the, the SSH command to do that connection. And we actually want to configure a second SSH connection from Amazon to GitHub. So to do this, we're going to need a new SSH key. But this private key and public key belong to the Amazon machine, not your local machine. So the private key and the public key on your local machine are used to connect to Amazon. But we're going to configure a new set of keys that are used to con connect to GitHub from Amazon. So the next thing we're going to do is actually create that key. I'm, I'm on the AWS machine and I'm using the command ssh-keygen to create the new set of keys on the AWS instance. So the default location for this is home slash ubuntu.ssh which is what I want to use so I'm just going to hit enter. I am not going to enter a passphrase so I'm going to hit enter again and I, a third time and I've created the new key. Uh, I've got some fancy key art right here uh, that's helping me confirm that. And I can even display the contents of that new key by doing cat tilde slash dot ssh slash id rsa, we'll do the public key dot pub. And there's that new public key. I'm going to want to add this public key to GitHub in order to configure that connection. So I'm going to copy the contents of this public key to my clipboard, I'm selecting it, and I'm going to do command C to copy. Um, you'll use whatever is specific to your system to do that. Okay, so here I am logged in at github.com. I'm here in order to add the SSH key that I just created. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, user panel and I'm going to select settings. Now what I want to do is add the SSH key associated with that EC2 instance to my GitHub account. So I'm going to choose uh, SSH and GBG keys. And I'm going to choose new SSH key right now. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this based, you know, based off of the uh, current, uh, we'll call this class instance. That's what I just called it, class instance and I'm going to paste the contents of the clipboard which needs to include everything from SSH-RSA all the way up to this information uh, describing the instance itself. So I need the whole thing and I'm going to choose add SSH key. I need to enter my password to confirm that I'm adding the key and that was successful. I should see it down here. Okay, finally I'm going to test the connection from the EC2 instance to GitHub. 
Uh, so it actually it looks like I looked away from my shell for too long and, and I lost my connection to the server. So I'm actually local again. So you can see my prompt is just uh, this, which is my local prompt. Uh, your prompt will probably look different for your local system. One thing that's for sure is that it's not my EC2 instances, it's because I was disconnected. So I'm actually going to reconnect. I'm pushing up arrow to select the last command that I ran, which was this SSH connection. I'm reconnecting to the uh, EC2 instance. Okay, and now I'm going to test the connection to GitHub. So the way I do this is by typing SSH git at github.com from the EC2 instance going to uh, ask if the if I it's going to try and verify the authenticity this is expected I'm going to say yes and I get this message that says that it was added uh, and then it tells me hi Joshua Cook which is my github name you've su successfully authenticated but github does not provide shell access shell access connection to github.com closed this is expected this message means that we were successful